Now let us discuss about the second type which is called as follicular carcinoma. Follicular carcinoma of the thyroid has a female predominance where the age group is between 40 to 60 years of the age. In iodine sufficient areas up to 10% of all thyroid cancers are follicular cancers. And the factors which are associated with the follicular thyroid cancer include the first one is the RAS mutation. So the point mutations of the RAS oncogene are seen in approximately 40% of follicular cancers. These mutations that is NRAS, HRAS, KRAS in order of decreasing frequencies. So here RAS mutation in the follicular thyroid cancer appear to be associated with more aggressive cancers and it has a very high mortality rate. And the next one is a PAX8 and PPAR gamma 1. So this PAX8 that is PAX8 and PPAR gamma 1 gene rearrangements are seen in the follicular adenomas as well as in the cancers. If we talk about the iodine, iodine may also play an important role in the etiology of the follicular thyroid cancer because in iodine deficient regions of the world there is a high prevalence of the follicular cancers compared to that of the iodine sufficient regions and next is the metastasis the follicular thyroid cancer typically spread via hematogenous dissemination where the distant metastasis occur approximately in 10 to 15 percent of the patients with follicular cancer even in those with a small primary tumors although the tumors are approximately of less than 2 cm in size and have not been associated typically with a metastatic disease. So the common sites of the distant metastasis are bone with a lytic lesions as well as in the lung and less commonly in the brain, liver, bladder as well as in the skin. Now let us talk about gross pathology which shows firm nodule of the thyroid what you can see in this picture and if we discuss about the microscopic examination of uh, the follicular carcinoma of the thyroid there are like small uniform follicles which are filled with the colloid and there is a presence of intact capsule which differentiates from a benign follicular adenoma from the follicular carcinoma because in the later the capsule is not intact. So adenoma is well differentiated neoplasm because it closely resembles normal tissue because there is no degree of differentiation and that is the reason it is not considered to be a poorly differentiated. The follicles of the adenoma contains colloid but there is a greater variability in the size when compared to that of the normal. So after discussing the gross as well as histopathology now let us discuss about the diagnosis. The diagnosis is confirmed by the tissue biopsy where cytology is inconclusive. The fine needle aspiration is a diagnostic tool of choice in evaluating any type of thyroid nodules. So the vascular invasion or capsular will confirm the diagnosis of the follicular carcinoma. So what are the typical features of this? Remember that samoma bodies are absent. Herkley cells are occasionally seen but not all the cases. Vascular invasion or capsular invasion will confirm the diagnosis of the follicular carcinoma. That is the reason the vascular as well as the capsular invasion is very important diagnostic tool or marker for the follicular carcinoma of the thyroid. And the most common route of spread is by the hematogenous and this follicular carcinoma of the thyroid has a very good prognosis. What is the surgical management? The goal of the surgery is to remove any cancer in the neck including thyroid tissue as well as metastatic cervical lymph nodes. So total or near total thyroidectomy is indicated in all the patients with follicular cancer who are greater than or equal to 45 years 
and also those under 45 years who have a tumor greater than 4 centimeters and the presence of macroscopic multifocality macroscopic invasion of either the tumor capsule or extrathyroidal tissues and also poor differentiation and extra cervical metastasis also can be considered. If you see the variance of follicular carcinoma of the thyroid, there is one important variant which is the Hurtley cell carcinoma, where the variant of the follicular carcinoma and greater than 50% Hurtley cells and it is an aggressive carcinoma and usually seen in adult females. So this is what you should know about follicular carcinoma of the thyroid.